Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about customizing grub and making it look like our own. I mean, what better way to own your distro than to customize the very first thing that you see when you boot up your computer and it asks you, what do you want to boot? Do you want to boot into your uh, Linux kernel? Do you want to want, if you're a dual boot system, into your Windows kernel, whichever one. But either way, that whole grub menu that you see uh, that lets you choose can be customized. You can make it look just like this right here. Yep. Very easy to do. Two ways to do it. And I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, one's going to be a more tech savvy way. So if you are a new to Linux user, it's not going to be the option for you. And then the other way is going to be a newer to Linux user, uh, way of doing it that will allow you to customize it and, uh, make it look fancy just like I did this one and it'll work. Uh, and you use a tool for it. So I'm going to teach you both ways. Let's go ahead and dive into it and take a look at it right now. Okay, so basically, you're going to want to go to uh, this address, which I'll put in the link down below, which is uh, the uh, GitHub for um, Addison Cavani. And in it, he has, um, this is the actual, when you get to it, when you log into it from the page that I'm on, you know, that, that I put in the, or the link that I put in the description, this is what you get. And so two places that you're going to want to look at is this documents right here. Let's make this bigger for you guys real quick. So you guys can actually read it. Is this documents folder right here? And then this themes one. Now let's open up the themes one because that the only thing that's really in there that you're going to want to see is all of these different themes from Acer all the way down to Zorin OS. They've got Void, they've got Ventoy, they've got Vio, they've got Ultramarine, Ubuntu, Toshiba. They've got all kinds of different uh, Grub uh, themes that you can install here for yourself. So, but you want to go here to the um, to his GitHub, right? And you're going to go to Docs. And then the installation MDX. And it's going to talk about uh, using the Grub Customizer, which is in your AUR or your repos. Uh, it should be in your standard repos for your um, or distribution. If it's Debian, it's, you use the sudo app git repository. you got to enable the PPA of Daniel Reichert 2007, Grub Customizer. Then you do the sudo app uh, get update sudo app get install grub customizer for pacman you just type in sudo pacman dash s grub customizer uh it does uh exist for fedora but there is a warning here as you can see grub customizer does not work on recent fedora releases so i'm not sure if it's 34 36 37 38 soon coming or which exact ones because i don't really play with fedora for very long but just know that uh, using the Grub Customizer to customize your Grub is not uh, recommended. Uh, they recommend doing the manual installation, which is actually configuring the Grub theme in the config file, which I'm going to show you is the other way, the second way. So what you do is, is you um, install your Grub, and then uh, you want to um, clone the repository or you can clone the repository first and then the github in this step by step he has you clone the repository first by typing this git clone command right here in the terminal and what that does is it'll create a folder uh called um distro grub themes in your uh home directory uh and that'll have all the themes that were in that list that i just showed you uh in there or if you don't want to clone the whole repo because you're trying to limit you know the amount of space you take on your hard drive you can certainly just download the tar 
that he had on there into your uh, home folder and extract it. And then you want to copy it to your Grub directory. Uh, and in your Grub directory, you if you should have a themes folder. If you don't have a themes folder, then create one using the make dir right here command. So let's show you on my distro here as an example in the file manager. We'll make that large for you. Uh, when you go to your file system, you go to your uh, boot folder, grub. Now it could be grub2, depending on which version of grub you have installed. Uh, and then in here is this themes folder. If this themes folder right here does not exist, let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. If this themes folder, that's kind of got off a huge. If this themes folder does not exist, then you have to execute a terminal command of the make dir, which like I said, which will be make sudo make dir uh, forward slash or space forward slash boot forward slash grub forward slash and then themes. And it'll create this folder. Now if we open this folder in here, you have two themes that are already installed in Arco Linux. You got the Starfield theme, which is your standard plain vanilla grub uh, menu, and then Vimix, which is one that Eric Dubois has put in here. Now, this is all the different backgrounds that are available. He's put a bunch of them in here, so if you want to go ahead and do these, you can certainly uh, edit a file that's in here that'll uh, apply those pictures. And even um, in icons as well. You got an icon set that he's put in here already. So uh, that that's being said. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but this you're going to spend a little time in this folder here too as well. Uh, just doing something um, later on down the road if you just want to customize the picture that is already set to your grub. That's how I was able to get the this one. That's how I was able to get this one to be what it looks like, which is the picture of my Linux tube and my actual penguin, the penguin, okay? So either way, that's how I was able to get that. Now, uh, the, uh, if you're in here and you've downloaded any of those themes and you've copied and pasted those themes into the grub folder, right, the themes folder, what you're going to do is you're going to edit this grub config file. Now, to do that, you're going to we're going to have to close this down and we're going to have to uh, open up a terminal. We're going to make that large. We're going to increase our text so you guys can read. Now, to do this, you're going to use your favorite text editor, whether it's nano, whether it's vim, whether it's whatever you want to use that. And you're going to type in sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash grub forward slash grub dot cfg you're going to open it up you're going to give it your root password now understand by the way that configuring your grub pro uh, uh, configuration is definitely a core system file and if you don't do this right you do run the risk of breaking your boot. So if that's the case, then you're going to want to um, make sure that you do a backup of the file. Uh, if you're not, if you've never done it before, never played with it before, definitely make a backup of it and do a snapshot so you can roll back to your current running operating system okay now uh, whether you use time shift or snap or whatever whichever one either way doesn't or r sync it doesn't matter make a backup uh, so now we're going to enter our um pseudo password oh, i think i typed it in twice and here it is so now we're into it now with nano you can either scroll down using your mouse or you can do your up or down arrows. But for the sake of speed, you just hit control W and then you can just type in T H E M E theme and hit enter. Now here is where your theming starts right here from this right here. This right here, all the way down to here is where we're going to concentrate. 
Okay. Now, say like one of the names that he had in there was uh, at the very bottom of Zoran OS. Say you, you want to use a Zoran OS theme. Okay. Well, all these that say Vimix, you would change or you would, you would, if it was uh, Starfield, is what the basic one comes with. If it was Starfield, you would change them all to Zer Zoran OS, just the way it's typed in the f uh, uh, folder name that the theme is in, in themes, okay? And then at the very bottom on this one right here, this is the, this line right here is absolutely the most important part. I mean, they're all important, but this one here tells it which theme text to use. The theme text is the actual config file for the theme that you're trying to apply. So this one you wanna definitely change to the one that you're trying to use. In, our, in the example case that I just gave you, you'd be using Zorin OS. So, and that's how you apply the new theme to your Grub manually. So then once you configure that and you make those changes there, then all you do is you hit Control Zero, to write, which I'm I'm not going to in this situation because I don't want I don't need to rewrite my grub, but you would hit yes and then Y and then enter and then Control X to get out of it, and that's it. So now we are out of that and we've done it. So now you can just simply uh, uh, reboot and your theme will be applied, right? No, one step you got to do, one more step you got to do, and that is you have to rebuild grub once you do that. So what you do is you type in sudo update grub if you're on like a Debian or Ubuntu based system. But if you're on Fedora, Arch, and every other one, then you got to actually remake the grub file by typing in this command right here. Let's go ahead and make this big so you guys can see it. As you can see, and let's increase the font size on there. So it's nice and big. Here you would type sudo. You type sudo grub make config with the flag of O and then where boot grub locations at that would be your forward slash boot forward slash grub not themes forward slash themes no just grub where the config files at and then grub config if it was grub 2 then you would be grub 2 and then the config file would probably be grub 2 config but either way that is how you type that and you hit enter and it's just, it'll recompile your grub to to be uh effective with the, the the themes that you applied and there'll be an effect and then you can reboot and see your new themed grub now that is the manual method of doing it now the actual easier method of doing it is uh doing it with the uh grub customizer uh which is the more newer to linux user one also the lazy man's way of doing it some people would say and so that is very simply done by typing in in my situation i hit rofi and then i just type grub and there's grub customizer okay so that's how you can do that or launch it from your applications menu whatever so that is how you access Grub Customizer. Now to use it, when you first open it, you're gonna come up with this. You can actually edit in Grub here what you would have it list. You can move these up or down. Uh, you could, uh, I, I don't know if you can get rid of them or whatever, but uh, you can actually move the order of which these are around. Uh, so like you can have them not collapsed or collapsed, you know, you can do all that good stuff. Uh, so either way, you can, uh, you can play with this, but, I I'm, I'm telling you approach with caution because like I said this is a core system file that can bork your system from booting so definitely make your backups again backup 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 now under general settings this is where you could predefine um, what it's going to boot into right off the bat when you grub splashes up right which is going to be uh, Arco Linux is the first one. Then you've got like the Zen kernel, and then I've got regular Linux kernel, which is the standard, uh, non-optimized, rolling release Linux kernel. But if you had the LTS kernel, it would be here. Uh, I usually always have two kernels um, installed on my system. I don't. I just have always done that. You know, I like to when I game, I'll boot into the Zen or Zen mod or Lecorix or whichever one of those optimized ones. Uh, 
I don't know. It's just my preference. You don't have to have two, but I do. You can change where it doesn't show the menu at all. You could also change for it not to look for operating systems, it's just only the ones that you put in there. And you could change the default boot entry time. So, like, if you have, and this is nice because if you have, you know, I, I don't know, for some reason you like to alternate between kernels like I do, and you don't know exactly where they're at, you can change that length of time. So instead of being five seconds, it can be 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever. You can delay it or speed it up. I think you go down to three seconds, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Maybe even one. I don't know. Never tried it in less than five. Five's pretty fast. So, but anyway, you could certainly change that all of its own, just like right there. But for the picture part and the theming part, you more want this third tab, which is the appearances. And uh, as you can see, it's, I've got custom resolution checked to auto. Now, what that's going to tell you right here, and let me see if I can make this bigger for you guys. Yeah, no, it, it won't it won't get bigger at all. Uh, either way, um, under the appearance tab where it says custom resolution here, it's set to auto. Now, auto, what that's going to do is based upon what picture you have in there and what resolution it's set to, um, it'll automatically change it to that your grub disorientation or you know resolution to that. So say you have a 640 by 480 picture in there. It's going to stay at 640 by 480 for your grub. If you have a 1920 by 1080 picture in there, which I think is the maximum resolution you could use for grub, um, it'll switch it to that. Otherwise, you can actually change it to whatever it is that you want from, from auto. You could type in here 1920 by 1080, and it makes everything that. Uh, I like doing auto because auto will select it based upon the picture and the picture will show correctly that way. Like say you have a 640 by, by, or by 480 picture in there and you have that set to 1920, it's going to be all kind of distorted. Well, that's not advisable, but it's completely up to you. Once again, it's your preference because it's your system. Now, the next one over here where it says theme, you see we have uh, Vimix. Now, you have Starfield there as the other one. If I would have had Zero or Zorin OS in there, then you would select Zorin OS from this gentleman's repo. Or you could have all of them in there that he has in there because you copy over the folder from that into that directory. It's there. So you can play, you know, choose from all of them. So one, one week you could run Zorin. One week you could run Arch. One week you could run Zero. One week you could run... Void, one week you can run Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever, all, all these themes that he had in there. You could cycle through all of them at your leisure. So, but what I did for mine is, is I created, um, I just use the existing Vimix theme that's there, right? And I simply just added it into the theme folder, the picture that I wanted, which was this TLT PNG, and that's what it looks like. I mean, you can look at terminal in a box, you can do terminus, theme, text, right, which um, the theme.text uh, folder, it, the theme.text in the themes folder is the one that you want to edit, which is a config file, which if you notice here, see where it says desktop image, right here, uh, that is where I edited to put the actual picture to show in mine uh, or you could that that's to edit it manually or you could have just clicked on it here and you can you know uh apply it well actually no this will this is for the, the whole theme this is all that's in that theme themes folder that's under vimix it's available for you to do now as far as backgrounds that you want to set the way you do that um, is you uh, will manually edit it and that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to close out of this and then I'm going to uh, let's make this a little smaller here. Okay, and we're going to leave this from full size. We're going to open up a terminal and then we're going to sudo uh, nano forward slash boot forward slash grub forward slash themes forward slash v mix forward slash t h e m e dot t x t i believe nope 
I was wrong. I did something wrong. Hang on while I figure this out one second. What the actual. Okay, so it's sudo oh, into here. Sudo nano slash boot for grub forward slash themes. And it, I believe, was capital Vimix forward slash T H E M E dot T X T dot text. We're going to give it our root password. And that's what it was. Okay. And so now, just to get the picture, if it's already existing theme that you're happy with, you just want the background to change, then you put that picture into that theme folder, whether it's Starfield or Vimix or whatever. In this case, I'm using the Vimix folder, but it's Starfield, just drag it in there as a PNG, and then you put it in right here where it says line number six, desktop image. You would put it in the name of whatever it is that you called that. In my instance, I called it the TLT PNG. So you put it in between these quotes right here, and then you, once you're done, you hit, uh, you're write it, of course, by hitting your control zero, right, which I'm not going to write it because it, it's already written, and then control X to get out of it, and then you're done. You're absolutely done with, with that. So, um, that is how you do the background, and uh, then you can actually make your grub look like that with just this background picture that I created the one that has all of this stuff the blue and then the penguin that's over there and then the actual writing the Linux tube that I put it at the top over there that's exactly how I got that there I just created that in my GIMP and then I just convert you know exported it as a PNG and I put it in there so that is how you do that that is exactly how you can customize grub very easily, very quickly, very safely, uh, whether you are a more savvy vet, uh, savvy Linux user or a new to Linux user, um, you can do that. You can always, always, always customize everything in Linux for the most part. Uh, I mean, GNOME has stuff pretty well locked down because... To do customizations, you have to do it through uh, a bunch of uh, extensions. But for most every other desktop that's out there, whether it's KDE, whether it's you know Window Manager, wh whatever, you can always do it with uh, with doing customizing your your config file. Uh, that's the glorious thing about Linux um, that you can do that with. You know, you can customize things and make them yours. So anyhow, guys, tell me what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you guys thought about it. Uh, if you've done it before, if you've broken it before, whatever. Anyhow, just give us a little bit of feedback. Always looking for it. Uh, also, don't forget to join the channel if you haven't. It's I really appreciate it if you do. It helps keep the lights on and pay the bills. Uh, other than that, you guys keep doing what you do. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep on Linux and have a great day. Hi, guys. I'd like to say thanks for watching the video. It really means the world. But before we go, I'd like to thank my Patreons, Brian Bomarito and Mislav Fresla. They help keep the lights on, and I really, really appreciate them. If you'd like to become a Patreon like them, visit me over at my Patreon page, the underscore Linux, to Linux underscore tube, uh, and uh, help out if you can. Really appreciate you guys taking the time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.